Oroville, without barriers. One day in the life of Alex. Oroville, South India. Alex comes from Bergamo, Italy. He is 34 and has suffered from muscular dystrophy since he was 13. He needs help with some things, but his independence is very much a priority for him. Alex comes to explore South India often, travelling alone in his specially customised wheelchair for the best part. He loves to taste a sense of freedom, despite the confines and challenges of his crippling disease. and simple life, trying hard to keep in touch with his spiritual side. It is for this reason that he prefers to spend his time in the company of children, who he says are his teachers. Alex is commendably tolerant and appreciates every moment of his life and the precious gifts it brings. This is his third visit to Oroville, despite the fact that he has experienced several difficulties moving around the city. Savitri Bhavan is a project which has grown up here in Oroville over the last 14 years. It's dedicated to accessing all the materials and activities 
which could help us to understand better the vision and teachings of Mother and Sri Aurobindo. Uh, because that vision and those teachings are the basis of Auroville itself. And so it's important that this should be universally accessible, that everybody who wants to know something about the vision and teachings of Sri Aurobindo can easily access this place. We are committed to that. Also, we are supported entirely by donors, people who make offerings. And many of the people who've been very generous to us are elderly people. It's not so easy for them to move around. So that is why we decided to make an accessible route into the building. And we've installed a lift there. Unfortunately, it only works when there's electricity. And at the moment, there's an electricity yeah. cut. Very unfortunate. But one can access all parts of the main building through that lift. And um, we intend also to make this building accessible. And uh, we agree with the accessibility, the universal yeah. accessibility people, that it must be possible for everybody, whatever their uh, kind of difficulty, they should be able to move freely everywhere and enjoy all the facilities. I'm a very funny boy, and I came in India many times, but uh, yeah, I came out to Narville uh, sometimes, and uh, I love India, but uh, in some way I hate India, and uh, that's the, is the same for uh, Arville. <laughs> because I love this place, but it's not so easy f for me. It's very difficult to move from one place to other place without a taxi, without this kind of strange engine. So I cannot do many things, especially when it's dark. I cannot do go. I cannot go outside. I cannot go to many interesting interesting. Uh, Proposal, change, I don't know, exhibition or theater or ladies. I have uh, some kind of coordination problem. It's called the Friedrich, Friedrich Ataxia, but it's, mm, yeah, it's, uh, it's not important the name. I, I have no balance, I cannot uh, stand. I cannot walk, uh, sometimes I can fly, but not always. And I stay seat on my wheelchair because uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, usually in, uh, in India, the architectural barriers are, uh, are too much, but uh, 
they are uh, uh, I think they are very little barriers in the mind uh, the accessibility in the public uh, places is very important because these old places maybe but most of the public places have to be uh, have to be must be free for all everyone uh, should should go inside without problem and do what other other people do uh, everything you know we are all the same and uh, in the in Arabic this should be yeah should be the priority More the project is a social service about uh, the barrier-free environment. Means uh, to pull, pull down the barrier, the architectonical barrier, who prevent people with a special need or everyone maybe who has some uh, difficulties to access to public building and to places in Oroville. They don't think that maybe there are others who have uh, some difficulties, also pregnant women, also women with the, with the carrier because with the baby, they have uh, difficulties to maybe to entering uh, public places. We can create uh, a society, we can create a town where everybody is happy, you know, without, uh, without uh, difficult, without uh, suffering, you know in order to avoid that maybe people in the wheelchair go to a toilet and then there is no, uh, there is no accessible toilet so they have to do their things in their pants. That is very humiliating for everyone. To create accessibility means uh, to give dignity and freedom to everyone. It is the seventh time that he come to India and he travel all, all along around India. In spite of uh, the difficulties of the barrier, because in India the barriers there are many, starting from the train, from the buses, and this and that. But he is very courageous and very brave and smart guy and talented, also funny guy. It's opportunity because he, by traveling, he met people, 
and he had the good exchanges, he make friends here and there and he likes very much to stay with people, to, 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 to talk, to, to study, to, to do things together. The accessibility is like a, a meadow with many flowers. There is a short flowers, taller flowers, flowers, big flowers, small flowers, a flower that is bending one side or the flower is bending another side. But all, all these flowers are growing in the same meadow. And this is the accessibility. I conclude with this. I like it. Definitely we plan to go for recommendation in the public building that has to be made in future that a system of accessibility has to be made. And But apart from building, it's very important that uh, the we design an uh, accessible mobility around the town. I mean, our road, our cycle path are very often uh, are normally made on um, uh, on, on that road or on people, which uh, does not help. Yeah, in relation with other people, I cannot find a very, very big difference. I'm lucky for some way, I'm less lucky for other way, but it's normal. I stay in Arabil, I stay in a hostel. Mitra Gestaus is the name. It's full of uh, young students and uh, it's very nice because I can meet uh, a lot of people from uh, all the world. Uh, I can speak to them, I can, I can know them and maybe I can ask also help to them. It's very nice, very fresh atmosphere. Yeah, also, also the Staff uh, of uh, Mitra, Gestas, all the workers. Uh, 
They help me very much. They are very, very kind. Uh, they very nice, very nice people. I don't know the most uh, important challenge for me. I don't know for other person because we are all different. For me, is the time uh, the I'm very slow, and I, you know, now for this auto, for example, we have uh, here I don't know how many degrees, but it's very hot, and I need uh, maybe three or four showers in a day. I don't know if I make four showers in a day, I have no time to make nothing. Nothing else. So, so for me, it's not possible to make this. Um, maybe I'm very slow to do a lot of things. So, so I cannot do what I really want to do. This is the main problem for me. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay anyway. I I prefer to smile uh, and not to you can do what you can don't think to what you cannot do <laughs> too much அவர் பார்க்குறப்ப எனக்கு வந்து பாவமே வராது ஏன்னா அவர் வந்து மாற்றுத்திறன் படித்தவராக இருந்தாலும் ஏன்னா எல்லாமே அவராக செய்யணும்னு நினைப்பார் யாரையும் வந்துட்டு டிபெண்ட் ஆயிரு டிபெண்ட் ஆகியிருக்க மாட்டார் ஏன்னா அவருடைய பேசுகிற லெவலும் கொஞ்சம் கஷ்டமாக இருக்கும் மற்ற பசங்களுக்கு வந்து புரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு அதனால் பொறுமையாக பேசுவார் பொறுமையாக சொல்வார் இது வரைக்கும் அவர் வந்துட்டு கோவப்பட்டதை நான் பார்த்ததே இல்லை எனக்கு ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஒரு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் அவரை தெரியும் எனக்கு ஒவ்வொரு இயரும் அங்கே வந்தார்னா அலிசிக்கு வந்துட்டு தான் போவார் அவர் எந்த நேரமும் ஒரு ஸ்மைலோடு தான் இருப்பார் அது வந்து அவருடைய ப்ளஸ் பாயிண்ட்டுன்னு சொல்லலாம் அவர் அந்த வீழ்ச்சியில் அவரே வந்து தனியாக போகணும் அப்படிலாம் நினைப்பார் மற்றத்தில் அவரை பார்த்தோம்னா நம்ம நம்ம வந்துட்டு மாற்றுத்திறன் படைத்தவர்னு சொல்லிக்க முடியாது ஏன்னா அவருடைய மைண்ட் கான்ஃபிடென்ட் லெவல் பார்த்தா ஒன்ஸ் ஐ வாஸ் இன் த ரூம் அண்ட் அருண் வாஸ் காலிங் மீ அக்கா அக்கா கம் கம் வி யூ ஹெல்ப் ஹிம் டு கேரி அண்ட் சே வாட் ஹேப்பன் அண்ட் ஈ வாஸ் லைங் டவுன் பெண்டட் நீ and uh, he was looking and uh, here and there and laughing i was asking what you are doing alex why you didn't call me no no i'm just finding uh, things under my bed so <laughs> so i feel that he is very uh, intelligent courage and um, no words to say <laughs> he never complained about his life at all he's always happy he's so confident he's so courage accessibility not only special need person for elderly people women children is must while i am making this movie with susmita and alex i learned more about the feelings the difficulties with special need people so my first priority will be making accessible toilet because all the human being are same they have the freedom in this world to feel and to to be happy this type of people couldn't enjoy the life i mean it's really pity so we really wants to have accessible in the public place really must must yes we went to bondi on the charlie with the with this uh, yellow bus very funny bus but the old with a very narrow door and uh, i cannot go inside with the wheelchair they have to carry me but all the girls uh, take me one girl so uh, one foot one girl one arms one girl it was uh, very so and very difficult it was very funny but it was very difficult in a couple of time we fall down all together <laughs> yeah, it was funny but uh, maybe many buses they have in arvil around arvil they should have uh, some uh, bus accessible <laughs>
it's one of the most inaccessible places of Oroville, the center itself. You see the roads, the way they are, the bumps. So we sort of still keep working under these circumstances and we have to make the best out of it. Alex was a very special person. He realizes his limitations, but at the same time he's extremely full of patience and full of uh, goodwill and humor and he actually advises us how to do things in the right way. And uh, it's, it's a big learning experience for us because we end up laughing a lot, doing all the wrong mistakes, throwing him around, you know, pulling his legs. And yet we also have this extreme fear that we're going to drop him, drop him. And this, that fear when we handle him, he recognizes that fear and then he says, but why are you people frightened? No, Alex, because we're going to drop you. And he says, but so what if you're going to drop me? I'm always falling down. And I always get up after that. And so what if I fall down? So take that fear out. So, okay, sometimes it might be difficult for me, for you, whatever, but still, you know, we can keep going on. So for us, it's like, there's this Alex from Italy. Three years ago, he came, but every year after that, he's been our regular visitor, giving us classes sometimes, uh, teaching computers for the girls, giving his body, offering his body to be a model so that people who are working on health care giving will know how to handle a handicapped patient. The time spent with Alex was only one example and a fleeting reminder of our inadequacies. Yet, it is something we must learn from and improve upon. It's difficult for us to imagine all of Alex's needs because we don't experience his full daily routine. Unfortunately, that doesn't make life easier for him. Although the time was full of fun and laughter, it was also a period of learning. Alex, with his never-ending humor, optimism and patience, taught a lesson never to be forgotten. He will continue to live his life fully, in spite of everything, and with faith that eventually the rest of us will wake up. By simply being himself, he is a beacon of hope and joy for many. Everyone who interacted with Alex took away with them a deeper awareness of the true meaning of accessibility. Inaccessible cycle paths and inaccessible public places and buildings and especially inaccessible public washroom facilities are just a few examples of the disappointments faced in the light of his expectations of the city of human unity that Oroville aspires to be. Alex hopes that Oroville will change very soon to become a shining example to the world and the most accessible place in India.